has five kills on Snapchat. Thank you. To a new video. I decided to do a voiceover for the majority of this video because I thought it would be, you know, like more interactive and I wanted to talk to you guys because a lot of these clips don't have sound. <laughs> so I guess we'll get into it. I'm doing a lot of different projects in this video, so you're going to see a lot of variety. Um, if you don't know, I'm taking installation art printmaking and um, I am also doing several other classes that require projects but not any big scale ones but so for this finals week I worked on lots of different stuff um, this is one of my miniature installations and it took a while <laughs> I think I showed myself working on it some in the last video and I tried to also get some of my classmates that I liked a lot there's some lots of impressive and cute work. Thank you. I'm just like, I love it. 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 I So I'm making a bunch of puffballs for a project, which you'll see later. Um, but in between, we went out a lot, um, just for fun, and I like to look at cute stuff, so I took some clips of that. So you guys know, um, or if you've seen my Instagram, you've definitely seen the finished product of this rug, but it it was my first time making something like this and I really enjoyed it but the work was like extremely tedious <laughs> so I started to get frustrated at some point but in this clip I am making the puff balls it's super crafty easy thing to do I used recycled cardboard to make them and then fast forward <laughs> or not fast forward but this is like the same day I think I am in my wood carving class, but it's actually titled printmaking, but in the printmaking class, we do it through traditional woodcut, so I keep calling it woodcutting class, but it's actually printmaking. And I did lots of different wood blocks this year. This is an orange. I liked how that one turned out. And then chrysanthemums. And yeah, you've probably seen me in this class a lot in my vlogs. Girl, here we go. This is me at night drinking lots of coffee and working on my rug. It is a punch needle rug and I'm working with mon monk's cloth and yarn. So here I am sewing in and attaching every single um, puff ball to this huge monk's cloth and it took me about an hour and a half, um, but yeah. And when I'm talking about tedious is what I mean. <laughs> and I made lots of different sizes, so it filled up the space pretty nice. And then here, I pretty much said I'm going to fill the rest with punch needling, but the audio is so bad. Um, I just decided to just put it in myself. Looks kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, this is one of two of my finals. I'm doubling it up because I'm like, 
What's the path of least resistance? And this is it. I am walking to class early to work on my wood cut for my final go behind and it's due in less than a week. So I gotta get this done. Yeah. So we went to a cat cafe and it was really, really needed. I've never played with kittens like this before and it was a beautiful experience and loved it a lot. We were obsessed with the kitties. So this is my progress so far. This is when I really am doing the technical punch needling process. So I'm using a punch needle and thread, or not thread, but yarn, and I am manually punching every single um, hole into the monk's cloth, and this creates that carpet-like texture. I bought so much yarn for this project, I swear to God. I was inspired by um, the super bloom hills and stuff like that. And right here, I'm showing you guys um, my mock-up presentation for an installation for one of my classes. I used the rug for this as well. And this is me early in the morning. This is the day of the presentation and I'm finishing up my last thing. So I literally took up until the day of to finish this. It was so tedious because of the size and I did it all by hand. Also, um, me watching Brittany Broski this early in the morning, I was delusional. <laughs> but yeah, I managed to finally finish all of it and I was really happy with the results. I really liked it. And then here's a close up of basically what I'm doing. It's like, I just poke. Here, um, these are some of my prints from printmaking. I made so many prints. They're all in this little makeshift cardboard binder now. But I made more for the art event I did at the end of the year as well. And I thought this was cool. I did it on <laughs> the like, like random, what is it called? Paper? I don't fucking know. Excuse my language. So I just got out of class. Finished my printmaking critique and I had a presentation for an uh, installation art proposal for one of my public art upper division classes. So that's out of the way. I literally spent, I was there from 11.30 to 6.30 p.m. So 11 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. and I'm exhausted. I'm going to show you guys my little book I put together for my class. It's not really like anything crazy it's just like a thing to put all my things I'm gonna show you some of the wood blocks that were all in my final presentation or my final portfolio <laughs> but yeah I feel like I haven't been filming as much as I want to but I'm just so swamped with work I just forget to film so I just try to film as much as I can tomorrow I am presenting the punch needle rug I've been showing beautiful day as tired as I am I'm enjoying the sunset. I'm gonna finish up the final things for the punch needle moss rug and that's going to be in a critique tomorrow morning for my um, installation art class. I have a French final, I have like an oral exam and I have a regular exam. I'm going to do that tomorrow after that class and I'll be finished with the semester. Photos of my work attach artist statements for the body of work for my printmaking class and then attach another separate statement for each piece because it was like a themed project and yeah and then I also am going to be doing a didactic panel for my installation piece which is due tomorrow and I don't want to deal with it. Basically last studio day today had some pretty long critique like the thing about finals days 
and critique days in general is that they just drag on as like as much as I want to look at everyone's work and give feedback I'm just like I am thoroughly exhausted and I want to go eat and take a nap really early this morning to finish some of that rug because I used it for two classes so I used it for a presentation proposal and I'm also using it for my class tomorrow working smarter not harder and it worked because I honestly I'm still really stressed and I'm glad that I didn't have another project to finish for tomorrow well today critiques went well and I'm happy with all the work I did this semester and yeah I'm gonna show you guys my wood blocks I'm gonna show you guys my wood blocks back these little lanterns it was like a collab project with another class I think it was sculpture class because they made these lanterns for something and it was just like an extra thing we had to do I didn't like the colors I did but it's not bad. It's kind of cute. I would. I'm gonna reuse it for this other art event. I'm gonna be participating in. Oh my lord! Look at all of them. I don't know how to balance that. So, I think you guys have seen this one. This is my rabbit. Um, this is my gift one. Um, there's a notch in the wood, so that's why it looks weird. But I still like it a lot. I did this one, it says good luck. This is one of my favorites, it printed really well and I really liked it. Also I'm showing you, these are all wood panels by the way, if you guys are curious. I think I'm gonna make a separate video of my collective work from the semester or like the past year because I think it's important and I want to kind of document that. So I might make a separate video of literally all of my art pieces from year, from this past school year. Um, so stay tuned for that. I just need to get everything together that I've made in the past year and kind of present it. And I think this is the last one I did. I didn't do it last, but it's one of the last ones. It's just cat. And yeah, I am exhausted. You guys can stay tuned for that video where I show everything more in detail because I don't really feel like it makes sense to just show it in a vlog. <laughs> I'm going to take my makeup off. That's the first thing I do when I get home is take my makeup off because I've just been sitting in my makeup all day. And then I'm going to probably eat and finish up this rug. I have it in this bag. So I had to take it for the presentation. And it looks kind of sick. It's like little peas or something. So this is the finishing touches on my rug. I am super gluing the edges in so that um, they don't fray out and the monk's cloth doesn't show. But it looked super cool from the back and really abstract and I thought that was cool. Here's me trying to film and also hot glue. So this is how it turned out. I really loved the results. Um, this is my first time doing something like this and I was really excited that it turned out so cute. And I installed it in different places and yeah. <laughs> Big. I know. <laughs> 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 
just finished my critiques as you guys saw I was working on it this morning a little bit and then I also included some of my classmates that I really liked I didn't include all of them because I started to get like tired near the end of critiques because they take so long but I tried to include some cool stuff so you guys can have like an insight of what my classmates are doing it's my last critique of the semester feeling good I got a lot of good responses on my rug a lot of people said it looked really professional or it looked like an expensive art piece that you would find like a rich person's house um which is flattering I'm probably not gonna sell it because I love it so much but maybe I'll make more smaller scale ones that could be really cool the past few days trying to get all these projects done the, the rug took so long and took so much like sit down energy especially because it was so repetitive but I mean I really like the result and I'm really happy with it I'm gonna go home I have to like drop some stuff off at the library because I checked out a lot of books this semester I need to like give them back a lot of inspiration books and wood cutting um, flip throughs um, but yeah it's like the conclusion of my semester I have to go home and take a French quiz and like an oral final for my French class but I'm not gonna film that because that's just like it's not art related it's just language related so yeah and if you guys are wondering I take I'm in my third year French so it's intermediate I believe so I think It'd be hard for you guys to understand if I showed you guys me doing it, I do, unless you speak French, but even then, my French isn't immaculate or anything. So like I mentioned, I we did an art vending event and I had a t little table. So these next clips are just me working on items for that event. It was kind of rushed, so I didn't have that much time to focus because I had finals like literally just days before. So I kind of crunched a lot of the items in so I had enough to sell. So I'm doing some printmaking at home for some prints to sell there, and yeah. And then this was our little table at the event. I did prints, I did hats and stickers, and it went really well. And it was really a lot of fun.